If you look at the uh, election process now, as painful as it is to look at it. It's uh, very painful. We're, uh, we're just a few weeks away from the election with Trump being supposedly catching up with Hillary Clinton. Uh, you find that Trump and his people putting forth a narrative mm -hmm. that uh, all is incompetent and America is collapsing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's because of the incompetence and the misbehavior or the desire to make American America collapse on the part of President Obama mm. and all of the officials who work with him, including Hillary Clinton. And you must elect Donald Trump in order to reverse the narrative and, quotes, make America great again. And if I can say something about the Trump phenomenon, please, to a degree, it's cultic. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, there are many things that go into it. There are many ways of looking at him, uh, including his narcissism and a kind of totalism. But without going into all of them, when you watch him at his rallies, uh, he's like a kind of guru mm -hmm. who's shouting out truths and getting uh, religious-like responses mm -hmm. from, from the group. Uh, lock her up you know, kill her even. Uh, it's also got a violent quality that he's calling forth. And with the guru, it isn't so much a thought process, it's a profound feeling that the guru is providing a path for everyone's immortality. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And only by following him can you have this eternal and pure existence. Right. And you you feel that, at least in the hard core of Trump followers. I'm hopeful. I don't I think that um, the, the there's still enough intelligence in the general American electorate mm. to reject that narrative mm -hmm. uh, in general uh, and to prevent his being elected president. But being of Jewish background, I know you are too, uh, being educated about the Holocaust, all of that we've been through to even have somebody reach a level of running for president of the United States of America with these qualities that yes, it's very are so reminiscent of an Adolf Hitler or a Mussolini or other totalitarian dictators is so upsetting. Yes, and you don't have to be Jewish to be upset by this. Right, thing. but I mean, for me personally, yes, of course, that's of part course. of why I've been so public for 40 years after my own cult experience was like, they did this to me. Yeah. Yes, and um, I understand that. And, and uh, he and his children, especially John, Donald Trump Jr., kind of flirt with neo-Nazi websites. Mm -hmm. They're interested in them, and they sometimes put them on the input aspects of them on the internet mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a tendency there's a an attraction to them on his part and the part of his family that's why uh, repeatedly we've seen neo-nazi images mm -hmm. in in things that he's brought uh, he's tweeted or somehow made uh, visible and the same has been true of his children and that is concerning when mm -hmm. this uh, moves from the fringes to uh, to the center of American political yeah, Especially life. with all the media uh, yeah. that he's get garnering. I've written several blogs about Trump's narcissism and so sociopathology. Uh, and recently his son Eric went to uh, opening of a moon uh, Tommy gun warehouse. Really? My former cult leader as a son who owns a gun factory I see. and so there's a direct connection now with Trump and and the Moonies which really? is very, I know that. Yeah. very upsetting yeah. but um, I guess let's come back to what w the beginning where you wanted to talk about global climate change which for me is so uh, it's so infuriating that Trump says still seems to be yeah. denying yeah that I, too. Uh, I wrote a piece together with my partner, Nancy Rosenblum, mm -hmm. um, called Climate and the Candidates on mm -hmm. this. And, uh, uh, 
and has and, it been published? Yes, it's no. been published. I have on, to look it up. Yeah, uh, and and um, uh, on on the Huffington Post. Okay. Uh, but um, you know, Trump says that climate change is a hoax, uh, and probably a Chinese hoax, uh, because uh, they want to somehow weaken America. And of course, um, Trump, along with somewhat, somewhat like-minded people, usually from the right wing in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. but his being a central kind of version of it because he's an American, an American and American uh, leaders are so significant in the world, uh, they could in a way block the possibility of our stemming mm -hmm. climate change and global warming. There's a danger in what I'm coming to call malignant normalization. Mm -hmm. I put it forward in the most extreme way in regard to the Nazi doctors mm -hmm. uh, I'm, and mentioned Americans who were polluted in torture, where that became a normal kind of behavior or the environment normalized torture. Mm -hmm. And that's a sad moment in American experience where that was the case. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we've taken some steps to uh, change that. But other groups can normalize destructive behavior. And even now in the election, one candidate, Donald Trump, is trying to normalize the ignoring of truth. Yes. That's a very extreme normalization. So that what actually happens is not taken into account, but rather what one says happens, or what one says one believes to be, in this case, uh, uh, an often uh, uh, wildly false kind of idea mm -hmm. uh, has to be the source of all uh, reality. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an ignoring of what we've worked so hard to achieve, a sense of what Erickson called actuality mm -hmm. in terms of the environment around us. And to, uh, I think there's now a reaction, it's been very belated, Mm -hmm. slow in coming, mm -hmm. but there's now a reaction to this very radical effort at malignant normalization, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have to be on guard against it here and in other places too. Right, this kind of, uh, as you were saying earlier, the guru, trust me, I got this, I know what's best, yeah. no plan, no policy, just trust me, and a redefinition of what the facts are. Trump said very specifically, I'm the one who best understands the system, so only I can fix it. Yes. That was a... a Demagoguery. A, yeah. It, it's a total insertion of self, uh, or let me put it this way, it's a merging of self and world, mm. in which there's no world outside the self. Mm. Isn't that the definition of a narcissist? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Lifton, thank you for all of your amazing contributions to, to me, to the planet. And uh, live long and mm -hmm. keep writing. I'm trying. Keep speaking, please. Thank you. Okay. That was amazing.